Are you guys familiar with the Rupert Murdoch FCC uh, Rupert trying to buy Chicago Tribune, LA Times? Uh, yeah, I'm aware of his attempt to buy those. I haven't even really been following the story, honestly, so you'll have to inform us more. Well, how do you feel about him buying Chicago Tribune? Trying. I doubt well, it ever happened. I don't, I don't know. The, the FCC is talking about uh, lifting certain rules against having the, the multiple newspapers and things. But um, it's just a bad idea. You, you, having one company... It, you know what? Really, most of our news is in the hands of very few companies as it is. You know, if anything, we really need to break that monopoly and have more independent news sources. Fortunately, the internet is where more people, more and more people are getting their news. And that, that's something that did, takes a lot of work because you have to fact check things. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of people out there who get their news from one source because they like that source and they agree with the spin that's being put on the news, but they're not really getting informed that way. They're just validating their own opinion. Yeah. Info wars. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, when you look at a story, you know, I, I, I have my news sources that, I, that are my favorite, and I like the spin that they put on them, and I tend to agree with them. But I can't just watch a news story from that source. If it's an important story, then I have to check another source. Absolutely. And I have to check another source. And not all those sources are necessarily going to agree with, agree with my point of view. But I feel like I have a better understanding of the overall story. But that's good for you as a viewer that you're taking that initiative to go that extra. Oh, I try to. I don't always, and you know. But um, I find when I do, it's usually about a story that I care about, mm -hmm. and I usually come away from those stories um, not with a, a solid footing on how I feel about those stories. Um, I usually come away with a, a more nuanced view mm -hmm. and seeing different sides to it. So, well, I believe that not only should you fact check Fox, you should also fact check all of the other news stations like CNN, MSNBC. You don't have to fact check Rachel Maddow because. She's you, you, right all the you, time. No, you, actually, you do. Any news source, make sure you're getting. Rachel Maddow, really? Yeah. Everybody, Any, everybody has their bias. You every, have to fact everybody check. has everybody has their bias. Everybody makes mistakes, and um, although she's really good about, you know what? She's you, very good. When when you actually start to fact check everybody you watch, mm -hmm. you will start to understand which news sources you trust more. The first time you hear them from that source. So Rachel Maddow, a lot of times I'll trust the source. I'll still double check because it's important to do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. But like uh, something like the Young Turks, they're usually pretty good. Mm -hmm. They don't always tell the whole story. Mm -hmm. You know, you'll, you'll find that they. So it's one of those things. It's, it's like with this where we see a news story, we think it's interesting, and we're going to tell you some about it. But that's not really telling you the whole story. Like the thing in Vietnam. Really? You want to know what's going on? Uh, there are articles about that situation out there that are going to give you a more complete story than we just did. Um, the New York Times is where I read it first. So, I mean, there's there's different different ways you can get a, go ahead and get that source. And the Internet just allows you to get different voices of the same story. And, uh, yeah, it doesn't matter what news source it is. Yeah, you gotta double check. It's like the old saying, two heads is better than one. With the internet, it's literally a million heads is better than one. So if you go through one source, you're only gonna get, like you said, that view that reinforces your views. So if you go for that one source, then you're really getting someone telling you a story based on what they think of the story. And you'll get facts in it. Don't get me wrong, yeah. but you're really gonna get that one view. Yeah, and how they spin the facts is and th their own. And that that, I think, leads to basically listening to people who are telling you what to think. And really what you should be doing is looking at multiple sources so that you can formulate your own opinion and come to your own conclusion and figure out exactly 
when when the Young Turks started out, what I liked about them was that they would link the the article in in below mm -hmm. where they got the story. They don't do that anymore. You kind of have to Google it. You know, oh, gee, it takes me what five more seconds of my day <laughs> to look up the story. But well, that's what I feel like the Fox News viewers should take that extra few minutes well, to I, actually, fact I don't, check. Actually, I don't, I don't think Fox News viewers are viewing news. Honestly, I don't. You don't. I, 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 don't, I don't consider that news. It's like trying to, it's like considering Rush Limbaugh news. You can't consider that news because he lies <laughs> about half, that's generous, half of what he says. But he lies so much. So I mean, if you, if you, oh God, I've listened to talk radio and it like say something and you look it up and you're like, that's a, just flat out wrong. It's just a lie, a flat out lie. Bill O'Reilly does the same shit. Yeah, Bill O'Reilly does the same thing. He's a little bit better. He's not as bad as, as, as Rush yeah, Limbaugh. Rush no. Limbaugh. Rush Limbaugh is just like <laughs> off the deep end. Um, Glenn Beck is just insane. Um, I, just insane. I, I don't even know where to really be. Him and Alex Jones are fighting now, and it's like... <laughs> crazy versus crazy right there. It's like It's like watching a boxing match between two guys in straight jackets. It's... But I do have to say that FoxNews.com, they write really good articles. I wouldn't know. I don't. I don't. You don't read any of those articles. I've, I've, I've actually gotten some news from there, but it's it's in those cases where I'm really looking for multiple sources of the same thing. Right. So yeah, occasionally they do get a a, a story right. Mm -hmm. Fox News, the channel. Fox News The Channel is a uh, performance art comedy piece. Yeah, definitely fact check them. 